Oh, I just want to apologise about my last vlog. It was a bit glitchy. So annoying. I spent ages doing that vlog as well. Um, this vlog, I tried to ignite my boiler. I didn't turn the electric on. And I kept pressing the button down with the gas flowing in. And then I turned the electric on and it just went bang. <laughs> oh no. So this vlog is about fixing my boiler. Why don't you come along? Why don't you sit down? Why don't you stand up? Turn around. I'm taking this apart. Wait a minute. Oh, light on. I've taken it apart. You see the damage it's done now, can't you? It's blown. It's completely blown. That pipe from the back, just down there. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let's get this. I'm trying to get this out. Blown to smithereens, isn't it? Perhaps I can use some of that. Maybe. This is the um, this is the back of the boiler. All kinds of bits going on. What's down here? Let's have a look. That's the bottom bit. Oh, I might need that jubilee clip. Expansion tank. And there's the bottom of the boiler. I need to get a pipe from there going up to the top. Oh no, it's not going to be easy, is it, getting in there? Oh dear. Right. Behind this, this is why this cupboard's so thin. Oh, the cupboard's so thin. Because behind there is an access hatch to get to that flue. Because I left it that, I designed it that way. I cut a hole out here, put some screws in it so I get it, get to the boiler. Now I've got to take this cupboard off. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Well, there's a cupboard, and there's the access hatch that I designed. Here, screws. Oh, I better have. Wait a minute. One, two. There's a screw here. I've got to work this out. Oh, it's just here. It's this is it. I kind of thought we couldn't quite see if it's, it was me drawing on it or if it was a gap. There it is. Give me a bloody glasses. Where's my glasses? Yeah, I thought this was a felt tip marker. It's not. This is the this is the hatch. Right. Let's get this off. I'm hoping that's just one screw in the middle. <sighs> what palaver? Just put this pipe on. It's craziness. going off here then what's going off why can't I get in I think it's because it's on tight oh there we are hey you see that completely utterly useless if I get my hand up here that's it I can reach that top bit oh let me show you let me show you rippers up there look can you see it Oh, they're not rippers. Oh, they're not. Sorry. That's the top bit. That's what's blown off. Oh, I'll just get the camera up there, look. I've got to get my hand up there. Ooh, what kind of boiler is that? It's an Aldi. 9023 or 9025. That's what it is. That's why I put the hatch in. Ah, oh, foresight. Bloody hell. I can't believe I've actually done something right. <laughs> That? Nothing. Okay. Right, onward. I've got to try and get the top of this. Got this off. I've got to try and get the bits off the pipe, you know. I can look at it. Where is it? Oh, yeah. All right. Sort of moulded on there. This is the card. Oh, no. Right. Just trying to get. Got the old uh, persuader. Trying to get the old. Oh, is that it? Ah, the last bit of pipe off lot, so I can. Uh, 
insert the new pipes is precious under that little hatch won't it at the time i thought i'm gonna get to that boiler if it goes wrong so i put this in when i was putting the kitchen in it's disgusting now doesn't it hey looking at close up with my glasses on now i'll take my glasses off it's better i've got this aluminium flexible hose here just open oh yeah it fits <laughs> Open it goes on, you know what I mean? Oh no, come on baby. Just go on there, please. It needs like a... It's that way. Yeah, why is it that way? It should be straight up, I'd have thought. That's strange. Why is it that way? Ah! Ah! Oh! Look at me and all those noises. What I, have to, what I have to do is I'm going to have to make up a pipe like this. It's, 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 it goes in that one. Take this off. This is an old repair. Take this and put the pipe down into there like that. And then put that inside there. Hopefully that'll do the job. Fingers crossed. With all my fingers and toes crossed. Can't be any worse, can it? And they've blown up. And they've blown up pipe. I mean, let's get this. When I first got the boat, I found this pipe had split, so I put this repair in it. It did all right. So it blew up. You don't want to blow your system up. That's one thing you don't want to do. Let's get this out. There we are. And I could put that on there like that then and use that bottom bit. Cut that with some scissors. What this pipe does, it uh, it draws. Uh, fresh air in from the roof from this chimney the chimney's got a double stack on it and um, So one's drawing air in and one's pushing the hot air out. So When I checked later, I thought this was pushing the hot air out. It's not it's the opposite. This is drawing air in this pipe That's why it stays so cold and the main Exhaust goes out the roof hot bit, you know So it's like that right I've got this um I've got this nifty ducting tape which is aluminium I think very very sticky so it's, as soon as you unwrap it and it's and it turns it twists on itself that's it you know I can't use it so sticky wow good that should give it a nice seal Seal of approval, eh? Monty Willy. And it rips dead easy as well, look. Uh, I think that's ready. <laughs> look, that's how you do it, guys. <laughs> Oh, I was going to feed, I was going to feed that in there, like so, and there's that bend I was talking about, let's get that up there, oh go on, just go straight on please, why does nothing go straight on, oh it's all bent, that's why. Just married it up so I didn't have to funny her out on the film. Oh, I think that's it. Woo. That ducting's going to go down there to the bottom. That's two and a half metre, that ducting. Um, it's either the original pipe was 45 plus VAT plus delivery. This is 22. It's aluminium ducting from... Uh, B and Q. What are you going to go for? Uh, you know what I mean? Right, let's crack on. Let me show you what I've done there, look. Oh, look, he's got it on, look. Look, it's a bit, it's a bit crushed. I'm trying to get the, trying to push it on. Ah, oh, that's on now anyway, so. Ah, oh, the pipe, I'm just trying to squeeze it on like that. It's just squashing. Damn, you really need to be behind it. 
stand in there to do it properly. Anyway, let's get the bottom bit on. Hopefully the bottom bit should be easier, I'd have thought. <sighs> you thought so, wouldn't you? Let's give it a try. I can't get your camera in because um, I'm going to get one arm in. So narrow. There we are. All I've got to do is tighten it up. And while I'm in here, I'll check. I'll check these outlet from the shower and stuff like that. You know, these pipes not leaking. Like a little inspection area. But these aren't. These Aldi boilers are really tall. Um, they're about six foot high, I think. Uh, but they're very thin and tall, designed for caravans and uh, camping and narrowboats. Right, let's tighten that up, and then job done. Put you on the floor. There we are. Let's tighten that up. That's it. Woo! As you can see there, the boiler goes right up, right up there. It's a very tall boiler. I can't see any leaks anywhere. Right, no spiders or anything. Okay, it's just a matter of putting it all back in it, eh? <laughs> Another Uncle Auntie Willie repair done. There you are, you see. I've got hands in the way. Cupboard in. Let's get this hatch back on. Watch me doing it, lot. Okay. Watch me doing the hatch. On there. Come on. Oh. Behind here is this is where the boiler uh, is. This is how I put my hand through there. That's what I was doing, I was putting my hand through there to start it. That's when it blew up. Right in my ear, massive explosion. Luckily it's only that flue part that was damaged. The body still works perfectly. You can see the uh, inner workings of the 9023 boilers. I mean, it's been reliable so far. It's just, it's just uh, there's the, uh, that's your pump. That's the pump for the boiler and that's your reservoir. If that goes empty, if that reservoir goes empty, if you're crowbot, so you're watching this, that has to be really just below the maximum. I've got X100 um, fluid in there with water. If the, if the water goes below your pump, your water doesn't circulate and it overheats real quick. So your water's got to be no less than halfway up that, between halfway between the minimum and the maximum is your best bet. Um, so yeah, always check that. Because if it goes below the minimum and there's no water for the pump to pump around, it'll overeat straight away. You get loads of steam in the boat. And I've done it quite a few times. That's the only thing about these. They're fussy and finicky. Because mine's buried in here, the only way I can check it is by getting a torch underneath it. And then checking with it turned on. Very, very difficult to see the level. Mine's only... Just at the bottom there. So I need to put some fluid in there before I fire it up. See that? So I've already got some I've got some radiator top up fluid ready mixed. It's a I'll show you what I use. French corrosion and lime scale, which is the X get some B and Q. Don't think it's cheap. But uh, I just mix I just put a bit in water. And then um, probably that much of this fluid and then top it up with water and then just put that top up in your system. Um, but I've already flushed this out and I've topped all this up. So this is a top up really. Um, I shall have to top it up. It's not easy. Um, for me it's not easy anyway. Mm, I ain't got that stuff in the way I know. Pain in the arse. And to unscrew this top here. Get that motor out of the way. I'm trying to film this at the same time. It's not. Uh, so I'll put you down here somewhere. Better the end now. So I move that out of the way there. That's the motor. That's your pump. That's your impeller. I put it out of the way, and I top it up. 
fingers crossed, you can do this. Dropping it on the floor, Willy! I can barely see with one half, half of an eye, I can see it. Right, let's just check that level. Maximum mark now, look. We're up to the maximum, right? Put that back in. And I know the crowbots have got one of these. I've got one of these. Get in there. I'm going to recess. There we are. and I'll check it okay you stay there a minute while I ch you check it for me while I turn it on let's just check the levels <coughs> oh. check the levels Below there, the impeller won't work because that impeller goes into that recess and it pumps the water around. If you, let, if you let the water go too low, it won't pump any water around, it just overheats. So I've got plenty of water in that now, plenty of coolant. Lovely. You like that? Do you like it down there, eh? This is like a glycol mixture. Can you see that? So I put that much mixture in it and I top it up with water. I use, I use filtered water. My filter tap, and then uh, that does the job. Right, so that's the central heating looked at. See the mixture, can't you? In there, it's like a glycol or something, glycemine or some antifreeze, anyway. Spider's blood. The way to light these is, should we try to try and light it? Right, if I can get the camera angle right. The way to light these is turn it. Turn it to one side like that. Press it down. Should it can hold it down for 30 seconds? It's not easy in my situation. Can hear it igniting. It's lit now. This is the water priming. Hold it down and turn it. That's now lit. What temperature you want there look there we go with these out I've nearly run out of space on my phone with these Audi boilers uh, to get hot water I turn all my radiators off turn them all off and it's just pure hot water then but I always leave the bathroom one on to, uh, to see if I'm getting water coming through or not and it seems to be working all right boilers boiling away and check outside. I've got nice warm air coming out of there. Oh, it's hot, wow. That's perfect. I'll keep me on it for a bit, see how it goes. So the bottom part of this chimney draws cold air in and the top part top half lets hot air out, so it's got a two stage system on it, you see. Posh in it, eh? Dead posh. That's not even hot. That's still cold. So that's 
I feel the air going through. That's doing its job. Well, it's designed for that, isn't it? Aluminium ducting. It's designed to carry warm air. And that joint seems to be holding up. Oh, it's hot as I feel of it. I can't reach it. And film at the same time. That's absolutely freezing cold. Isn't that amazing. So that's working perfectly. Cold air is being drawn in now to the bottom of the boiler and hot air is being expelled through the top of the boiler. So that's perfect now. I'm really happy with that. Um, brilliant. Doesn't carry hot air this, this pipe, so you've got no worries there. Just checking the pipes there. They're very hot, so it's working. The boiler's pumping hot water around. Brilliant. It's a shame for all that hot air to go outside. Yeah, go around the boat would be nice, wouldn't it? Before it went outside. That's not even getting... That's just getting very, very mildly warm. That's been on now 10 minutes. Fantastic. Right, let's get back together again, put the cupboard back up, and then coffee time. This hatch has proved its weight in gold because there's no... There's just no other way to get into... to get into that flue. No, there was no way. You just can't stand up in there. You can't go in there. So this, that was well handy. Glad I, glad I thought of that. I'll put that cupboard up. Filthy from the top rippers. Right, all back to normal now. I can't tell you how long that's taken me to do that. It's got to be an hour and a half. It ended up, I couldn't get it onto the, couldn't latch it on. No matter what I tried. And then it tumbled over onto the floor. <laughs> and then it split. And then I end up taking it all apart and gluing it. It's all glued now. It's all proper back together. But you know those little those clips that you turn, they all come loose. So it all come apart. Um, it just wouldn't go back on the wall. Oh God, what a pain in the ass! That's been the worst bit. But the the boiler I ran for an hour and it's fine. It's all cool. That that pipe going up. So filthy for me. Hands are killing me from all the cuts. Filthy thumbs up rippers. Mm.